Welcome to Fear It Goes, the podcast all about taking your fears with you and doing it anyway. I'm your host, Brandi Taylor. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back to Fear It Goes. We are still in the health series, and honestly, what health series would not include sexuality, right? Because our sexual energy is a big part of your healthy mind and healthy body. See, there are a plethora of things that happen when we are sexually active. And there are a lot of things that happen when we are not. So if you go back some episodes, I did a sex series back in the summer that was there to really challenge some belief systems and really get you thinking about what you're bringing into the bedroom for yourself and your partner. Now today, we're not talking about that. Although if you haven't heard it, and if you're not having fun with sex the way you could, then please, by all means, go back to episodes 20. I think there was eight of them. And I think it starts with 20. And it's called Let's Talk About Sex, Baby. Well, it just says Let's Talk About Sex. But really, It really gets into the crooks of different ideas around sex and how you can be more playful and really enjoy yourself much more and expand your comfort zones and expand your belief systems and expand the conditioning that you now carry based on your culture, your parents, your religion, your society, what is normal, what is not, what we believe or are brought up to believe is right for us. That whole series is really about discovering what you find right for you, not what everybody else finds right for you, because your belief systems will carry into everything you do in your life. And if there's anything this podcast is here to do, it's to help you evolve and discover what's important and what really matters to you so you can go out in the world and be the best you you can be. So today's conversation is really around sex from more of the what it's doing for your body and for your brain and why you want to incorporate it. So if you're not having sex with a partner, then this will be the relationship with you and yourself and I. (laughs) Wait a minute. I didn't mean I. I meant you. (laughs) Okay, so this first one is for you guys out there, gentlemen. Now, a study was published in January of 2015 that said... Men who had sex twice weekly or more reduced their risk of cardiovascular disease, strokes, heart attacks, um, trans ischemic, things like that. Isn't that incredible? Even just twice a week. But what really happens when we actually incorporate moving this energy because sexual energy is massive. We've talked about energy throughout this series, talked about energy in different podcasts. So you know that energy is part of us. We are these balls of energy, but it moves through us in different ways. So sexual energy is no different and it's a very, very powerful source. Yay for us. How fun is that? Okay. So I'm just going to give you a quick little list, a little lowdown on some of the benefits. Okay. So one, you're going to sleep better. Ding, 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 rocket science, right? We all know that after a good little session or a good long session, (laughs) whatever the case may be, that usually you have pretty good sleep. But did you also know that it lowers your blood pressure? It also releases stress. We knew that too, actually. Um, It helps with menstrual cramps. Yep. Oh, ladies. Yes. And some of you might go, oh, that's so gross. Oh, so not. So not. It improves your heart health. Yes, this is so great. We get better sleep. We are happier, obviously, because we have endorphins that kick in with an orgasm. But there's also dopamines that are kicking in. And you have these neurotransmitters that are all firing because you're happy. Because usually, okay, usually sex is a happy moment. Usually it feels really good. Even if you come, don't come to climax. Now, climax is really interesting because all of these things are a chemical release. It's the movement of that energy, right? So if I work out in a day, it's not the same energy release or the same movement of energy I get from moving my body in that way as it will be when there's a sexual release. And then you can actually 
r- be more focused. So this would be more tantric or kundalini style kind of tantric sex. And that's moving the energy while you're in the midst of it. And that's a whole different experience. And you don't have to always have a partner to get these great benefits. Now, want to hear something really crazy? I think this is pretty amazing. It can also help you look younger. (laughs) Um, I like that one. And most of you will like that one too. Okay. Now these ones are going to seem totally crazy to some of you, but, and some of them totally not. Obviously, the more sex we have, the more libido we have, right? It increases your libido because you're regularly active. The less sex you have, the less you want it. Just saying. Okay, but this one's really cool. You get less colds and you boost your immune system, right? How crazy is that? But what's happening is sex boosts your body's ability to make protective antibodies against bacteria, viruses, and other germs that you typically come in contact with. How flippin' awesome. No vaccine needed, right? How about for all of you women, and I hate to say this, but 30% of women, that's one third of women out there experience incontinence. It sucks. It is often what comes after um, childbearing. And it's a sad reality for many, many women, but having regular orgasms actually works the pelvic floor and strengthens it. So ladies, get active (laughs) because you'll have a lot more fun doing Kegels with sex than by yourself. Now, another cool one is this. Sexual stimulation, which includes masturbation. Okay. So both orgasm and just just playing, just having some fun can help with pain. Both of them reduce pain sensation and increases your pain threshold. How crazy is that? Because what's happening is it releases hormones that help block pain signals. How awesome. So ladies and gents, if you are having pains, a little bit of masturbation wouldn't hurt you. I know I'm talking such craziness, right? We're talking about sex for like physical ailments. We're talking about sex for mental ailments, which we're going to get into. I never really thought of this actually before. And I'd heard that um, sex could really help with headaches. Now, the interesting thing is once you get into things like migraines, I can't even fathom the idea. Can't even fathom because I used to get migraines quite often. They used to plague me. And I can't even fathom the idea of doing something like that when you're in the midst of a migraine. But for headaches, again, because you're releasing, there is this endorphin, there is dopamines, there is chemical and hormonal releases in the body. You really can help reduce all of the tension that often causes headaches. So yay for sex. Okay, so if we were to keep score, sex has already got like, 10 and then no sex has got like, I don't know. What what would be a benefit of not having sex? You're too busy? Okay, so sex with self doesn't take that long because you're pretty good at knowing your own body, right? And if you're not, again, go back to some of the older podcasts or some of the older episodes where we talk about exploring your body and getting to know you because that ultimately makes you much happier in that that bedroom and it all with somebody else with a partner and it makes you also a better partner so get to know you and your body and you will have lots of fun in both spaces alone or with partner so we know that obviously it doesn't take that long when you're by yourself as it would with someone else or maybe it's the other way around for some of you I don't know for me I find it's like ridiculously fast by myself. I've gotten very efficient. Did I just say that on here? Oh my God, I really did. (laughs) A little sharing, a little sharing today. Okay, guys, this is another one for you. And I mean, gents. So actually having more ejaculations per month will give you a much lower risk of prostate cancer. Incredible, right? So keeping that prostate active helps you keep the risk down. That's amazing. I bet you guys all know 
that it burns calories, right? Because it's exercise. Sex is exercise. So it burns approximately 110 calories per half hour. It depends how crazy you get. So if you think about that spaced out multiple times a week, you're doing some good calorie burns here, all just by having sex and having fun. It improves your cardiovascular health. Of course it does, because again, you're getting your heart rate up and you're breathing heavy. Now, if we think about sex from a release standpoint and a stress reducer, obviously that means we're going to be able to think clearer too, because when we're in stress mode, what does that do? So that's off the parasympathetic parasympathetic nervous system, which means you're activating more of your protective mind, your primitive mind, your whatever you want to call it, monkey and squirrel. Um, And therefore you aren't thinking as well as you can. So it boosts brain power. You also live longer. It increases lifespan. And again, that whole concept around looking younger, how beautiful is that? It has everything to do with estrogen and testosterone and the releases of these hormones in our body that help us keep youthful. Now, I think one of the biggest reasons, which again, we'll go back to the episodes of the sex series, but one of the biggest reasons why we really want to look at incorporating some sort of sexual activity in our day, whether it's by yourself or with somebody, is because it really does strengthen your well-being. So I kind of have a little checklist and I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys. So I'm going to share it now. I have a little checklist. It's all about energy, right? So I'm thinking about how energy moves through the body and what's going on. And I think, okay, so I get up and I feel out of sorts, right? We have this happen all the time. I feel out of sorts and I don't know what's going on. So I run through my little checklist. I'm like, okay, I got up this morning. Did I meditate? Yep. Okay. I meditated. Did I work out? Yep. I worked out. Did I get off? Oh, no, I didn't. It's my way of going through all of the ways that energy will move through us, right? We have emotional energy. We have mental energy. We have physical energy. We have sexual energy. So if I'm off balance, usually it's something on my list and I'm double checking what's going on. So I have my little checklist. Now, one of the biggest And I I said this before, I said it it allows us to be connected and it has to do with our estrogen, our testosterone. It allows us to connect with our partners because I do believe that sex is a communication unto its own. We don't communicate in, in that way on any other plane. And it's a really incredible opportunity for us to spend that and share that with another human being, hopefully with someone you actually care about. (laughs) I'm saying that, but I, I'm kidding, but not really. You should care about who you're with. These encounters really intensify what you experience from them on the chemical side when there is a connection as to when it's just some random whatever, right? So um, hopefully you're practicing these wonderful experiences with people you care about or that you really connect with. This is a love hormone. Now, There's different things that can set off oxytocin in the body, but obviously sex is a big, big, big one. And this really does connect us with our partners and deepen our relationships. It improves the intimacy and the want for that intimacy. And ultimately, sex just makes us happier people. Yay! People who are getting it all the time. (laughs) People who are active are just happier out in the world. They manage stress better, they think clearer, they're better at solution finding, and they're much more creative and productive out in the world. Isn't that an amazing gift? It's an amazing gift, right? We're giving this to other people all because we're having sex. (laughs) I think you should all go out and have sex every day and keep yourselves happy and keep the people around you happy. What a beautiful, blessed world we'd be living in if everyone was just having sex. Okay, that's not really true. But if we incorporate this practice into our daily or weekly lives, this should never be something that just gets pushed to the wayside and left alone for long periods of time. 
It's a big part of who you are. When we seek this through the relationships we have, the intimate relationships we have, it really enhances who you are. And it draws up some of the best moments in who you are. If, okay, and I should talk about this just briefly. If you're struggling in a relationship and the only connection point is your sex life, please seek some help for that. Now, again, putting this in the context of a healthy experience, sex really is an important part. And I say sex, but really um, just the movement of sexual energy, it really is an important part of life. So beautiful peeps, on that note, I hope you go out and have some fun. Go whack off. Go have some sex. (laughs) Go be playful and enjoy your sexual energy because it is a big, big part of longevity, sustainability in life, both mental and physical, which we've already discussed. Just the quick little housekeeping here, guys, if you are seeking help with weight loss. Yep, I did just say that. If you're seeking help with weight loss, I have just set up the most amazing 12-week masterclass that will teach you all the ins and outs of really creating a very healthy biome, what you can do for it, how you can feed it, how it doesn't have to be boring, what you can eat when you go out, what makes sure that you don't cheat, what makes sure that you get the right nutrients so that you get all the results that you ever possibly dreamed of and the health, health that comes along with it. I've set that up. Take a look in the notes here below. If you are seeking guidance and you need help because you struggle with anxiety, because you struggle with depression, because you have an autoimmune, because factors have come into your physical form that are hurting you, contact me. Again, information's in the notes. I put this out there because I realized I wasn't doing that enough before. And it is my primary mission to impact as many lives as I can in the most positive and productive ways. So I'm going to give you a quick little lowdown on me, and then I'm going to say goodbye, babies. So I am a mindset expert trained in NLP and hypnotherapy. I have studied health and functionality of diet for, oh my God, since my 20s. I come with obsessions, to be honest, and the best part of my obsessions is you get to share in those and you don't have to spend 20 years of research to get the details that I now have. If you need help, seek me out. Beautiful peeps, if you love this show, uh, we are on Patreon, Patreon, and we would love your support. If you have ideas, please come to fearitgoes.com backslash podcast and write comments or um, give us ideas of things you want us to talk about. We love hearing from you. If you love this show, give us five stars. Write us a review. I like those too. (laughs) And it really helps me keep on track with what you want to hear and what really inspires you. If you're looking for more interviews that are just about inspiration or how people overcome things, shoot me a note. If you have an incredible story you want to share, I would love to have a conversation with you. Until next week, my beautiful, beautiful souls, go out. I'm going to actually leave you with this because this is such a beautiful thought. Every day before you step on the floor, think to yourself, Something incredible is going to happen for me today. And something amazing is going to happen through me for someone else today. I can't wait to see how this day unfolds. And let me tell you, with your beautiful mind, it will seek it out. Set yourself up in the most incredible ways. And if you're not getting off, go have fun. Until next week, beautiful people, have an absolutely extraordinary week.